Hello, I'm Joe at Sierra Specialty Auto, and this is Tip Blitz 19. I recently acquired a surface grinder, and I've been studying up on balancing grinding wheels. I've watched videos by some of my favorite creators, Stephen Lang, Randy Richard in the shop, Stan Zinkowski, a couple of others. A uh, common thread there is that they drill divots in the side of the wheel to accomplish the balance. Uh, even the great grinding guru Don Bailey at Suburban Tools uh, does this, has done it for years. Uh, he claims and others claim that there's, uh, th this does not affect the integrity of the wheel, but I just have a hard time seeing how it does not uh, look at this wheel that Don Bailey balanced in one of his videos. Look at all those divots. Uh, alternatives are hubs with balancing weights built in. Uh, they're very expensive. They're pushing $200 even for used ones on eBay. Kinetic Precision makes a very nice balancing ring that clamps onto the back side of a hub. Has 12 threaded holes in it. Uh, and you use set screws as balancing weights. Uh, very nice idea. I like it a lot. Uh, but they're still uh, $57 plus shipping, so a guy's probably looking at 65 bucks by the time he gets one in his hands. Uh, it's still kind of pricey for a home shop guy. Here's my take on the, the kinetic precision ring. I cut myself a four inch round of half inch aluminum bar. I faced it. I bored it out to inch and a quarter. I bored, I counter bored one side about seven sixteenths of an inch deep to leave a web of about one sixteenth. Uh, faced the other side, uh, being careful all the way through to keep the, the work trued up. I used my set true three jaw chuck uh, repeatedly uh, to adjust the, the run out. And then I took it to the milling machine, put it on a rotary table, and drilled and tapped 16 3 eighths by 16 holes for set screws to use as balancing weights in the manner of the kinetic precision wheel. And then this bolts on with the wheel. When we put the hub together, uh, we put the wheel on the hub, we put the balancing ring uh, o over the hub, and then follow with the washer and the nut. Uh, I don't have my balancing stand or arbor yet. I'm going to make them. Uh, after watching Steve Lang's video another time or two. Uh, so I can't demonstrate this. But proof of concept is what we're after here. And here's the finished product. Uh, I, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, so that's my offering for Tip Blitz 19. Uh, I hope this is of help to uh, other people in the home shop or even in small uh, production environments, I suppose, uh, who have surface grinders and want to balance their wheels without drilling the, the, the material out of the wheel. Man, it's hard to make a five-minute video. Thanks for watching.